Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today I'll be talking about why I'm keeping my Sony QX1 modular camera. Now you probably wonder, what is Sony QR, a QX1 modular camera? You probably never heard of it, right? Look at how small it is. Now you notice there's no LCD or LED uh, screen. It is just look like look like a lens actually, right? It's about 210 or 15 grams, so it's quite light. So where do you see the use for this? Now you might have heard of QX100, QX10, and QX30. The difference between those is that this one is actually an APS-C sensor modular camera. And for example, it makes actually makes sense to have this with your smartphone. See the QX. 10, which has a, almost the same sensor as your smartphone, right? It makes no sense to have it, like to hook it up, because if it's the same sensor, why am I, do I need, you know, the it, it improvement of the uh, image quality is a little bit more, right? So no need, right? But it has a built-in uh, lens as well. Maybe the lens is much better, obviously. But with this QX1, it's a whole new ball game, right? We're talking about an APS-C sensor in this thing. All right, so what, what it is, is you hook up your, let me just put it together here. So you come with this cap thing, and what you want to do is snap it on. Okay, so it should be snapped on already. You open up this latch, and you place your smartphone onto it. My uh, Samsung Note 3 is a little big, but it can still fit in it. There we go. Okay, and there you have it. You have now your smartphone have a APS-C uh, sensor and there we go you have a very powerful camera and your smartphone okay now that's what people bought it for initially this was uh, made about like, two years ago I, I never heard of it until I did a bit of research and I, I happened to bought this on um, second hand and I love it and I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna keep this thing right this is awesome stuff let me give you uh, five reasons why I'm gonna keep this QX1. It's not for everyone. It's so specialized that most of you probably hate it because you know say what's the point, right? But I'm telling you, there is a point, and there's five points. Let's start with number five. Well, I told you already, it is APS-C uh, sensor, which means that when you're taking a picture, you know, compared to your smartphone camera. And this is portable too, right? So it's portable uh, APS-C sensor. So you just snap it on and take a picture. And the quality of the picture is amazing. It's a, if you compare to the iPhone 7, the sensor is only one third. This is like one, uh, about six times more than the iPhone 7, the sensor size, six times more. So it can take in a lot of light, right? So in a low um, light environment, this is awesome to have to take pictures. So basically, uh, anywhere you go, this is awesome. You can actually take picture in any type of condition. In fact, even have a built-in uh, flashlight. So if you worry about not enough having enough light, and you're gonna have a lot of noise in your image, bam! You click that up, and you have a uh, pretty good uh, flashlight or flash actually. Okay, it's better than the flashlight on your uh, smartphone. This thing is actually much bigger and it looks like it's more sturdier okay and because it you can clap on it and you can put this you know pu push the light upwards the bouncing off the wall and down to the person's face then you have a more nicer uh image quality as well so that's the reason the reason of five it, it, it has an APS-C sensor huge sensor that you can capture more light into it and so you have a better picture quality and look at how portable it is all right so if that's not going to convince you, guess what? The QX1 is interchangeable E-mount lens. That's right. Let me show you something. I recently bought this very tiny. Look at how tiny it is. This is about, um, I believe this is about 70 grams. This is a 16 mil f2.8 uh, aperture lens. It's E-mount. I put it on. Let me see. Ta-da! Now I have a oops, beautiful 16mm 
um, lens, an AP meant for APS-C uh, type of camera, and it's uh, f2.8. Cool, right? And look at how light it is. Uh, these, this module, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the modular uh, camera, the QX1, and this tiny lens, we call it pancake, pancake lens, together only weigh uh, 270 grams. <laughs> yes, that's right, 270 or 75 grams, around there. But it's so light. So I can put this in my pocket or in my uh, you know, coat, because winter now. And there we go, we have a beautiful, beautiful, uh, you know, wide angle lens. Cool, a beautiful quality, right? Not on top of that, if I'm not happy with this, well, why don't I change it to a, oh, look at this, Canon, Canon uh, 7200 mil lens. Oh yeah. Um, now I have this um, manual adapter, so it, it's not gonna, it does not gonna auto focus. However, you know, I also have a calm light one that does auto uh, focus, but that doesn't matter, right? Now, look at that, woohoo, I got, a telezoom lens, high quality Canon lens on my, yeah, on my smartphone. <laughs> amazing. And look at the size of this screen, right? If I'm going to take a picture of it. It's beautiful. And this lens is amazing. This, um, uh, the, uh, the Canon L series lens, right? The 70 200 mil FE lens. And it's L series. So it's a high quality uh, legacy uh, lens. And oh yeah, beautiful. So all I have to do is bring my lens and I have an APS-C sensor. I got the uh, uh, smartphone, I'm ready to go. So that's number four, uh, number four. yes. Yeah, so we have APC, P APS uh, sensor, we have interchangeable lens. What is number three? Well, number three is a little bit more specialized. It's only for certain type of people. And those type of people are those who are stargazers. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I already gave you some clue. As you can see, this is a, uh, a zoom lens. I also have a 1600 millimeter zoom lens. All right, it's, uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's a, a third party made in China one. It's okay, it's not too bad. It's F8 quality um, aperture type of lens. Um, I haven't tried it out with this uh, QX1 yet, but you can imagine I can zoom in uh, about 32 times, right? Pretty cool. On top of that, I have this microscope with a special adapter, and I think you might can check my other videos that I, ha I made up uh, a video on how to hook up a um, APS-C camera or uh, full-frame uh, camera to your telescope. So I have this telescope, and I hook up, um, I could hook up this uh, modular camera the QX1 and it's very light too right so it you know it will definitely fit on my um, uh, telescope quite easily and now I'm able to take the uh, moon the stars and uh, the universe really so very specialized but amazing quality type of um, camera so great for those uh, uh, astronomers or as astronom amateur astronomers, really, uh, who like to um, look at the sky and take pic beautiful night pictures. And it's because it's light. So again, that's a very specialized type of field. Um, maybe not some of you may, who cares about that, right? But let me take this out for a minute. Um, the next thing, number two, which is related. So you talk about the macro world, the large, you know, like sky and the stars and all that. What are the micro world? Well, that also is true as well. Let me show you something. Well, I have here a microscope, as you can see here, and I already have in a built-in type of um, adapter, and I could just fit my um, QX1 onto it. Let me show you right now. Oops. There we go. <laughs> now I have my microscope with the QX1. So, and I can take this out. I don't have to put it right where the, um, the smartphone can be put in this place. Let me just show you right now and take it out. There we go, right? And I can view, right? I can view the image from the microscope 
just like that anywhere I want while I can you know while I'm looking through here and I could even save it onto a you know a special um, recorder whatever I want through this uh, QX1 uh, camera so amazing right so again it's not for everyone if you're into uh, microscopy this is it if you're into telescopy there this is it right so again it's a very a niche type of uh, um, camera it was only meant for certain people certain specialty I mean and lastly what are the other uh, number one point that I was gonna tell you this one is super cool well I developed this myself let me show you uh, let me take it out first from a microscope you can see this is my mic microscope all right take that out put back my lens cap all right so now you see APS-C sensor I'm gonna put back my uh, 16 mil f 2.8 lens there we go and there we go so what is this thing this is Android uh, smart watch a full-blown Android smart watch this is actually in watch Z you might have heard of this as well this is uh, one of the best smart watch uh, ever been developed I would say it's uh, like four years old now probably like three or four years old I got this uh, second hand um, you know it's amazing smartwatch it has a built-in uh, sim card as a built-in GPS and the GPS actually works really well right but anyway because it's a, a full-blown Android uh, OS system and this Sony QX1 is also able to sync with uh, any type of uh, Android devices that is 4.0 and up guess what it does work very well so here we go let me show you I just created probably one of the world's smallest APS-C camera <laughs> that's right I'll show you right now let me just I'll get it started I'm gonna show you okay so here we go the world probably the world's smallest APS-C camera now how do you define the world's smallest APS-C camera well you gotta have the weight for it and you have to have the size for it and look at this look at that the screen is the size of a smartwatch and it's because it's Android is able to control um, the app the Sony play memory app and control my camera that's right let me show you you can see I can take picture like this by touching the screen and I can see it let me see <laughs> And um, the thing is, I can even see it. See, and you can see that. Let me see. Yeah, I can zoom it in. Woohoo! There we go. Let me just uh, get excited here. Yeah, I can see. I can zoom in the picture. Okay. Now, because this special um, smart watch has a transflexive screen. Uh, I don't know what that means, but it, it, what it means is this, is that when the sunlight hits it, you can still see the image. So it doesn't matter if there's a bright light hitting the screen, you can see it really well because it's a transflexive screen. It flexes back the, the light, like almost like a mirror. So the outline, the contrast, and you can see the image. So amazing um, smartwatch combined with QX1 uh, camera, the Sony QX1 camera. Now I have a camera with a very tiny screen I can now take picture any way I want for example see I can even change now the thing I can change is aperture I can change the size of the aperture I can even set it to um, superior auto or intellect uh, in intelligent uh, auto for, you know normally uh, Sony has that kind of feature although there is limited in the manual control but the thing about this is that it's a touch screen so I can touch on the object I want to focus on on this tiny little screen smile smile again oh, there you go smile again bring it back that's it 
Cool. So that's number one reason why I keep my QX1. I can put my smartphone, a uh, smartwatch, I mean, the uh, Android smartwatch, and sync it with this, and I can carry my smallest, I would say the world's smallest, APS-C camera I'm holding in my hand right now. That's how small it is. Look at that. With, and it's uh, technically correct because I have the screen built in and I have the AP APS-C sensor. I built this myself and you can do it too. So let's go through the five reasons why I'm keeping the QX1. APS-C sensor, inter interchangeable lens, you can hook up to a telescope, you can hook up to a microscope, and you can hook up to your smart watch, Android smart watch. You probably could even hook up to your uh, Apple Watch if it, it, Apple Watch has a uh, ability to, for you to download a uh, play uh, memory app from Sony, but you can check that out yourself. But you can see here, I just created the world's smallest APS-C camera with QX1 and InWatchZ. Thanks for watching, educatetube.com.